This is my response to the viral video, Why I Hate Religion But Love Jesus. I think what the young man was saying was that he loves Jesus, he does not love the religion. There's many different religions. There's Buddhism, Islam, and many other religions. But Christianity is a relationship with Jesus. It is not just a religion. And I'm going to tell you one reason why I love Jesus. And that is because he gives you so much power in your life to have a successful, happy life. Jesus said, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, and that's pretty small. I think what he was saying was, if you even have a little bit of faith, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. That's pretty amazing that he said nothing will be impossible for you. Uh, if you say that as an affirmation over and over again, it'll change your life. It'll give you power in your life. Why is it some people are successful and some people are not? Is there some kind of a force, some kind of a science, a magic, or what is it that causes some people to be happy and successful in the things that they do and other people are not? Well, God gives us the power to be happy and successful, and I'll talk more about that. I read a book by Dr. Norman Vincent Peale, and in it he mentioned a man named Bob. Bob was a salesman, and he wasn't doing well at all. He was almost at the very bottom of his company among the other salespeople. He was getting very discouraged and he realized that he was going to have to make some changes otherwise he was going to be fired from his job. He was getting more and more discouraged as time went on. One evening he was sitting in his house and out of desperation he decided to go read the Bible. He pulled the Bible down from the shelf, he hadn't read it for years, and he began to read it. And as he read it, eventually he came to a couple of verses that were very significant to him and it gave him power for his life. The verse was this, He who overcomes will inherit all this. He started saying it over and over to himself as an affirmation. And the more he said it, the more power he got from the Holy Spirit. And the more the discouragement and the depression began to fade away and the more his soul was filled with joy and strength. He began to do a better job as a salesperson. He began to think more about the people he was selling to and less about himself. He became more interested in them. His sales began to go up and up and up, and by the end of the year, he was the top salesperson in the whole company. They asked him to give a speech. They said, how in the world did you go from near the bottom to the very top? And he said, you know, I'm not a religious person. I don't like to talk about religion, but I found a Bible and I found a verse in it that gave me strength. I began saying it over and over again, and it has changed my life. Well, many people talk about faith, the power of positive thinking, power of mental attitude, the law of attraction, whatever you want to call it, but it's a powerful force that makes you successful in your relationships, in your job, for happiness, anything you can think of. It, the Holy Spirit will give you power if you're a Christian. The Apostle Paul said, I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Not too many people believe that. I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Say it out loud ten times a day and it'll make you stronger, it'll make you more successful, and it'll make you happier. But some people say, well, the Apostle Paul probably should have said, I can do a few things through Christ who gives me strength, or I can do some things through Christ who gives me strength, or maybe I can do most things through Christ who gives me strength. But he did not say that. He said, I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Jesus said the same thing over and over again in the verse that I talked about earlier, Matthew 17, 20. He said, nothing will be impossible for you. So there is enormous power in these verses, these affirmations.